Happy Monday guys, welcome to the vlog. I am just off to pick up my contract from my new employer and I'm going to go and get my license done, my driver's license changed over and go to the supermarket, so productive day hopefully. So I just got home from doing everything I needed to do, just put my contract up, I need to read through it all, there's quite a few forms to fill in. Um, I'm going on CPR training on, I think it was the 31st of March. Um, and then I'm sorting my driving licence out, which should, which should be here in the next three weeks. I went to the supermarket, so I'm just going to unpack the shopping. And I got some masala chai tea, which I haven't had in ages, and it's such a nice change from normal tea. Um, so I'm going to put the kettle on and have a cup of that. So I've just had lunch, I decided I'm going to come and tie my tomato plants up because there's heaps of tomatoes on them and they're all falling over so I'm just going to do that with all this string. Um, there's a few that have gone red and there's a few that are massive but still green so um, I don't know, might wait a little bit longer until they start to red and then bring them, bring them in before the birds start eating them. So I've just tied my tomato plants up and thinned them out a little bit. I've just um, chopped off some of the stems that aren't producing tomatoes and maybe hacked the tops off if they're wilting down. So there's still there's loads of tomatoes on, on there, I've taken some off that are massive and I'm just going to let them ripen up on my kitchen windowsill. These are some of my tomato plants at the moment, so that one's going red there, they're getting quite big, there's loads around here too, and my broccoli's doing well. And my cauliflower is growing immensely, but I don't know um, how much longer it'll take for the cauliflowers to actually grow because I can't see any in there at the moment. I think my corn's pretty much ready to eat now. Um, all the, um, ooh, what do you call them, like the hairy bits have turned brown by hairy bits. This is what I mean. These bits here, they're all shriveled and brown, which means the corn is ready. I've just had to pull two of my lettuces out because the slugs have got to them. So I've drizzled a little bit of slug stuff, slug pellets around the lettuces. I've only got three left now. I've got some more propagating. Um, but I need to keep the dog away from them, even though they contain like something that is meant to make them taste bad to dogs, hence they're meant to prevent them from eating them but I need to find a way to keep my little puppy out um, Ben did start putting netting around the garden but it ran out of netting now so we need to buy some more so um, it's all my garden rub rubbish and this we're going to plant out at some stage probably with some more broccolis and cauliflowers and things like that then once I've eaten all my corn we're going to rake the soil so it's all even because at the moment this side is higher than this side so we're going to rake it up so it's all even and I'm going to plant some um, carrots and parsnips and stuff and onions all along here um, because I can't plant the carrots and stuff in our new um, bed that Ben's made because um, it's got too much manure in, in there and rooted vegetables don't like too much poop so um, I need to plant them in the old beds rather than new beds yeah apparently they don't like too much manure otherwise the roots go all like twisted and not straight basically and that's exactly what you don't want for carrots we've just come to harvest the figs and all the bees have got here before us and they're all into all the ones that have burst not good because Ben's got a slight bee allergy. <laughs> Have you been? Wasps. I might be alright with bees. You don't. You should go crashing under them. Lucy's helping. Little puppy dog. Hey guys, I haven't vlogged yet today. It's lunchtime. I'm just about to have some lunch. This morning I just went and dropped off my contract at um, the place I'm going to be working. 
And so I think I'm going to go in for a training day next week and also doing um, CPR, like resuscitation training. Should be good. Never done that before. So um, I think I'm going to have eggs for lunch because they're nice and quick and tasty. So I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'll, hmm, whether I do fried egg or scrambled egg. That is the question. You are the softest little puppy. I know. Hey, aren't you? You just like a belly rub. You just want a belly rub, don't you? <laughs> Come on, time to get up. Time to move, Lucy. Come on. Lucy's the only puppy I know that will instantly fall on the floor for a belly rub as soon as she sees you. So, if you need to know what I had for lunch, I decided on a fried egg. Delicious. Um, we might be getting some chicken soon as well. So we can have our own eggs, which will be quite nice. I think we're going to get brown shavers because they lay the most eggs. And um, I think we can pick them up from a place over the hill in Nelson. So we just need to inquire about that really. Um, me and my little puppy are ooh, going to see Ben now over in the field. He's chainsawing again trimming the trees so I'm just going to help him cart some of the branches into a big pile Lucy's off chasing butterflies she's quite good at it actually she loves chasing butterflies I've just come back in from helping Ben with the logs I'm just cooking dinner having a beef stir fry with rice um, I came back and I had a voicemail message on my phone from um, a job I'd applied for a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's a restaurant job. So I need to give her a call back um, and just find out hours and pay. And maybe try and juggle that and the other job which is only on call as and when. So hopefully if I get regular hours at this other one. I can then just fit the other one in between as and when they need me. So it'll be good to get out of the house and um, get some money in. Morning guys, it's raining here today. I'm about to make pizza dough for dinner. Ben wanted it for lunch but tough luck because I don't think we've got any toppings for lunch. I have to go to the supermarket later and have some for dinner. The first pizza's out of the oven and it's been served. It's Benji's special pizza, so he does it with spaghetti instead of tomato puree. <laughs> we don't have them. Um, don't have tomato puree, so I suppose it's a good um, improvisation. The other one's got a bit of spaghetti on and um, chopped tomatoes. That was my version of it, so we'll compare. Don't we? Right, I'm going to brave this horrible, horrible weather. I'm going to get my contract for this restaurant job and hopefully go to sleep more afterwards. I'm going to get so wet. Just got back home from doing everything. Supermarket shop, petrol, work. <laughs> it's really wet outside. And the puppies, she went out this morning for a run but she needs another run and she doesn't want to go outside. Ben's just tried to take her for a walk in his wet weather gear and she just would not move. She just is going mad inside. On your little monkey. Lucy, you a monkey? <laughs> you a monkey? <laughs> Are you a monkey? I think so, I think so, little monkey. <laughs> like cuddles, don't you? Yeah, you like pulling on my jumper. I don't want that pulled, thank you. I don't. So I'm just making fig and pear paste. I had it at um, one of Ben's cousin's houses. Um, a while ago now but I've never had it before it tastes really nice so the figs are in season at the moment so I thought I'd do that and the pears are in season as well so I've got some of Ben's dad's pears and some figs off the tree on the farm here so um wish me luck I'm doubling the recipe because I've got heaps of pears and figs to use up um 
So it, it reckons that it should make 12 cups full. Um, so I think hopefully I've got enough jars. If not, Jane's got some. I'll have to have to nip over there. So I'm just doing that now. Right, so my figs and my pears have just been boiled and food processed, so they're in a bit of a gloopy mess in the pan. Now I'm going to tip out, tip in, jam setting sugar. The same weight amount of jam setting sugar as there is figs and pears, so I've just weighed them and I've got a kilo of figs and pears and I've got a kilo of sugar, which I'm going to add in. So I've got to cook that on medium heat until the sugar d dissolves and then cook on <laughs> low for three hours until it becomes really, really thick. So all my sugar's just got gone in. Looks really healthy, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm just trying to mix it to combine it now. Inside of the door. Yet We've just had our lasagna for dinner and I'm doing the caramelised figs for dessert and they look delicious, I must admit, I'm having vanilla ice cream with them. Yummy. Hey guys, I haven't filmed today and it's 20 to 4 and I need to be at work at 5 so I'm going to make myself a nice cup of tea, I find myself a snack, I don't know whether to have toast or maybe just some fruit. I don't know yet. Um, I'm not sure what time I'm finishing work tonight. It might be like 8 or 9 um, and it takes 20 minutes to get back so I might be quite hungry by the time I get back. Then I've been mixing a load of meat today so um, I think we're going to have lamb um, burgers tonight which would be quite nice. Um, what else have we done today? Oh, Ben dug a hole for me in the just the field nearby so I can, well, so my clothesline's now up and I've done a ton of washing and hung it all out because it's a gorgeous day. Um, yesterday we had about eight or nine inches of rain, it's quite a lot, um, and the local river has burst its banks. I went down to the supermarket earlier just to pick a few things up and it's flooded it all on like the local farmland. Big, it's a big flood. Um, I've done it before though, I think it does it quite often when we get like a huge amount of rain. Um, all my little seedlings that I planted last week, I think it was, they're doing really well. So we've got their lettuce, spinach is shot up, I think there's leeks there too. All these ones with two heads are actually weed because I took the soil out of the garden, I think they're weed. These things here, the straight stems, they're actually the leeks, so they are coming up. Um, an onion, I think that's onion too there. Again, these are weeds. And the mescaline that I planted, that's coming up as well. So that's all in there. So yeah, I um, had a big tidy up of like the deck at the front of the house because it was become a bit of a gathering ground for mess. So that's looking a lot tidier. Um, I'm gonna get my cup of tea now and something to eat and then get ready for work. Hey guys, we're off out to Wainui to, um, what are we doing? To drop some chairs off of Ben's dad and pick up some logs and we are going to have a walk up to Wainui Falls as well. It's a lovely day. Um, we had, there was so much flooding yesterday. Um, there's a picture of it on Facebook and it, it's just amazing how much it, area it's flooded. Um, work last night was really busy. Um, it was just full on, <laughs> so um, I didn't get back, Lucy, I didn't get back till about 10 o'clock, Ben had cooked me a nice burger for dinner, it was very nice of him. We're out at Wainui, we're just getting some wood, the sandflies out here are horrendous. Like little midges of death. <laughs> Lucy loves it. Hey guys, today's Sunday. I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, yesterday day, I 
worked on my travel blog and didn't do a huge amount. Um, last night I was working at a bar restaurant and it was horrendously busy because it's Easter weekend. So now it's Sunday. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of gardening. It's a lovely, lovely day. Ben is boxing up for the little like extension utility room we're building on the back of the house. So he's collecting stones to put in the base of the extension. It's just going to be here. So it's intended so we can put um, boots and coats and we'll put our dryer in here as well. So the door's probably going to be at this side and then we'll obviously put walls round. We probably won't put windows in but we'll use um, perspex for the roof so it lets light in. So I'm going to, Jane gave me some irises yesterday and I need to plant them. I think they flower a nice red flower in the summer so I need to find a home for them and then I've got loads of bulbs in the shed so I might try and dig some holes for the bulbs and plant them. The bulbs I dug out from the borders, they're all in a bit of a higgledy piggledy mess so um, I'll find somewhere a bit neater to put them and try and do that. So I'm definitely the worst propagator in the world. Um, we left the seedlings out in the sun in the propagator and they've been watered every day but the midday sun has just frazzled them so I'm having to replant my spinach and my lettuce. I think we're just going to keep them sort of slightly in the shade um, because I just think the sun is just too much for them. They must just need moisture and um, a bit of heat and then they'll germinate. Little puppy's been a nightmare. <laughs> She's cute, I don't mean that. She's just being a puppy. Boy, Terra. Boy, little Terra, what are you doing? Lucy. Lucy. I've planted my irises. It said they needed like all day sun, so I've just planted them this side of the house, which gets all the sun. So I'll just pop them there. Monkey, don't pull them out. Lucy's getting a bath from Ben. First time Ben's bathed her. <laughs> she loves it. Too big for us. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a big, bigger bowl, I think. Wash your head and stuff. Yeah, I don't get it all over her eyes, but I just go over her, e her ears and stuff. Make sure you get a belly and her legs and everything.